Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be talking about my cholecystectomy or more commonly known as gallbladder removal surgery. So I had my gallbladder removed March 12th and I do have a little snippet of footage of after surgery when I was in recovery, but I didn't get that much. I did take pictures, um, but for some reason I kind of didn't really vlog the experience like I should have, but I'm here to do a sit down video and explain to you guys the process of everything that happened and why I had to get my gallbladder removed. So let's get into it. Okay, so basically for a very long time, I was having like really severe stomach pains and I thought that they were stomach ulcers. I went to the doctor, they thought that they were stomach ulcers. They prescribed me medication of basically just like acid reducers and that didn't do anything. So I ended up just complaining and complaining because I was like, something is not right, obviously. It doesn't seem to be a stomach ulcer because I wasn't doing anything that was like crazy with like spices or eating like a really bad diet that would cause me to have stomach ulcers. So I was kind of just confused as to why I even had like those issues or what the cause of them was. But like I said, my doctor told me that they were stomach ulcers and for a year I had believed him. So I didn't, you know, we were just treating me for stomach ulcers for a long time. And then finally I was like, okay, this is just not right. I feel like it's not even in my stomach, the pain. So the pain where you feel gallbladder pain is in the right upper quadrant. So right here, I don't know if you, oh, you can't see it. Let me stand up real quick, right here. Right in like right below your right rib cage is where it hurts. And I was like, I am having severe right upper quadrant pain. My stomach is not in that quadrant, okay? So how could it be a stomach ulcer? I was just confused and I was angry because I had gone so long trying to get treated for this when it wasn't even the issue. So finally my doctor was like, okay, we'll get you scheduled for an ultrasound and we'll see what's going on. I went to go get my ultrasound and sure enough, the results came back. I had gallstones. So that was what was causing me all of that pain all that time. It wasn't stomach ulcers, it wasn't my diet or anything. Well, obviously that could have been affecting it as well, but it just, it wasn't straight up what I had believed it to be for literally like a year and a half, almost two years. So I was like, okay, well then if I have gallstones, what can I do about it? Just kind of deal with the pain eat better foods, you know, cause I didn't want to have another surgery. I've had lots of surgeries and I wanted to postpone this gallbladder surgery until I was older because I didn't want to, you know, be suffering and having issues and stuff being so young. And I was like, all right, I'm not going to get it. I decided that I wasn't going to get my gallbladder surgery, but it turned out that I really needed to get it. So I just was in constant pain. I would literally have a gallbladder attack like all the time. And let me tell you guys, gallbladder attacks are not fun. I was in severe pain, felt like someone was stabbing me right in, like right below my right rib cage. And not only that, but I also would wake up in the mornings and throw up a lot of bile. That was when I still had my gallbladder. I'll get more into after in a bit, but I definitely would wake up just feeling so nauseous, having to throw up and there was no food. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't anything crazy that I had eaten or that had caused my stomach to be that upset. It was literally just bile, just straight bile that I was projectile vomiting. <laughs> so that was so much fun. It was a great experience and I loved every minute of it. I'm kidding obviously. It sucked. I was just fed up. I was like, I can't do this anymore. I didn't want to have this surgery because I'm literally 21 and I've had surgery after surgery and I'm just irritated. I'm tired of it. I don't want to be, you know, having these problems anymore. So I was like, I'm not going to get the surgery. I'm just going to try to handle it on my own, to manage it on my own. And that didn't work. So I called and I was like, hey, get me freaking scheduled because this is I, I, I can't keep doing this every damn day. I really cannot. So if you have gallstones, if you have gallbladder issues, you guys, I relate. I'm so sorry, I feel for you. I hope and pray that you're able to get a gallbladder surgery to remove it because since I've had it removed, obviously I haven't had the same symptoms and stuff. For my recovery, the gallbladder surgery was good. Like it was my easiest surgery probably. I didn't have that much pain. I just, you know, it was discomfort, bloating, swelling for sure, bruising. It took a, a long time for the bruises to go away. But besides that, my recovery was pretty easy. I mean, obviously you're not supposed to go crazy and like go back to 100%. Um, so I definitely took a good 
rest and I just relaxed. I laid in bed, I recovered, and I did everything I could to, you know, make sure that I'm healing properly and well because if you have a surgery and you try to rush back into something, you know, just you got to listen to your body. You got to take that time off. I was just listening to my body. I wasn't really in severe pain. I took prescription medication the day of my surgery after, of course, for bed. And then the next day I took it. And then after that, the rest of the time that I, you know, was recovering, I didn't take any pain pills besides acetaminophen. I took that instead. Why? I don't really remember. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. I forgot. So the actual surgery. For my surgery, they did it laparoscopically. So they just inserted a little camera, did a little snip snip, and took my gallbladder out of incision that they made for that one. They took my gallbladder out. I had gallstones in it. I really wish that I would have kept my gallstones. I didn't. I had forgotten to ask. I was literally, I'm upset. I wish I could have had my gallstones. So I can just like shake it like a little maraca right here and you guys can see them. I know that's a little gross, but that's fine because I'm a little gross. I think that's really freaking cool. Honestly, thinking about it, it's crazy because I'm like, damn, I really don't have a gallbladder. Like I really don't be having a gallbladder out here, but that's okay. I have still been having a lot of separate issues. Um, I'm not sure if it's related to the gallbladder removal as well. I don't know if that like has been part of the issue with my stomach, but I wanted to let you guys know that my gallbladder surgery recovery was great. So I'm not having any of those kinds of symptoms related to the gallbladder thing. Currently, I'm having a whole separate set of issues. So I hope you guys don't correlate my craziness with with your craziness as well. So I'm just saying if you guys get your gallbladder removed, you you know, I'm not saying that you guys are gonna have the same thing that I've been having. I've been having stomach issues for a while now. I don't necessarily know why. I really recently have been trying to just be better about it, about what I'm eating and being more conscious about everything, but it still seems like no matter what I eat, my stomach just always hurts. And that's a completely separate issue from the gallbladder removal. So I'm just letting you guys know that getting your gallbladder removed won't give you these symptoms that I'm having or like the things that I'm having, because those are, I personally believe that they're separate because when I was visiting my sister in Texas for my birthday, I still had my gallbladder. That was right before I had my gallbladder removed because I had my birthday, I went to Texas, and then when I came home, I had my gallbladder removed. And then that's kind of when everything started going into a bigger shutdown um, with coronavirus and everything. So, I mean, I was really lucky to get my surgery right before everything went to shit, pretty much. I know that when I was in Texas, I had a separate issue than just my gallbladder. I have this in a previous video where I explained it, but I'm gonna go ahead and just say it again really quickly. I woke up with severe, severe stomach pain and I was throwing up bile and I, li I literally looked like 10 months pregnant. I was so inflamed, so bloated. I couldn't move, I couldn't do anything and it sucked. It really did. Um, I was so close to going to the hospital and for me to go to the hospital it takes a lot because I have a very high pain tolerance because I've been in a lot of pain in my life so it's kind of like I'm pretty much always in constant pain so unless it's something severe I'm not really worried about it. It's kind of like I always have pain as just you know you keep moving on but this time it was so bad. It was so, so, so bad. I couldn't move. I literally could not turn. I don't know what it was and I still don't know what it is. I will wake up in the morning with just being very bloated, severe, severe pain in my entire stomach. And I'm pretty darn scared that I have like a stomach cancer or something. I don't know what I have, y'all. <laughs> I'm freaking out over here, you know? I thought that getting my gallbladder removed was gonna solve my problems and it was gonna make everything better and I wouldn't have to worry about having those problems anymore and I can just go back to being a normal, healthy 21 year old. But alas, I don't know what's going on. So this might be a little bit TMI if you don't like hearing about bodily functions, I, I suggest you skip or just don't watch the rest of the video. Basically, because of all the stomach issues that I've had continuing after my gallbladder surgery, I have had to get extensive testing done. So I had to get a lot of blood work done and I had to send in some labs. And by send in some labs, that means that I had to send in my feces to the lab so that they can see if I have any parasites, if I have a bacterial infection. Why did I say that so weird? Infection. 
pardon me, if I had or have a bacterial infection. I don't know. I don't know what I got going on, y'all. I'm really just as confused as my own body. You know, I, I really still don't know what's going on but I'm hoping to get everything figured out soon. But for the gallbladder part, I don't think that, the, that they're necessarily completely related because I did have this pain before I had my gallbladder removed and I'm still having this pain after I had my gallbladder removed. It's a different pain than the actual gallbladder attacks and the symptoms that I was feeling for that. So that morning when I woke up in Texas, my stomach was super inflamed. I was throwing up a lot of bile. I couldn't move and for some reason, I don't know, after, I basically, when I wake up with this kind of pain, which is like 95% of the time, I pretty much will wake up in pain six out of seven days of the week. So I'll wake up, I'll put a heat pack on my stomach and I'll fart and I'll poop and then I'll feel better. And I don't know, I don't know if it's because I have sleep apnea and at night when I'm wearing my BiPAP machine, I'm swallowing so much air that my stomach is just inflating with air and gas and it's hurting excruciatingly the next day. I really, like, I, I don't know what the cause of it could be. I just wanted to share my story with you guys and let you know that if you are having problems with your gallbladder, that definitely getting a cholecystectomy was a great decision because if I still would be having those gallbladder attacks with the pain that I'm having now, with like the separate issues that I'm having now, it would be a lot and it was a lot. So if you're going through these issues, if you're going through health issues, I apologize. I know how much it sucks. I pray for you. I send good vibes your way and I hope that you heal and you're able to just feel healthy and be healthy and be without pain. Because like I said, I know how much it sucks to be constantly dealing with these issues. I don't want to discourage you guys. The gallbladder surgery, everything of that sort went great. The surgery went great. I didn't have any problems. I didn't have any problems with anesthesia. I haven't had any problems with anesthesia in the past, so I wasn't expecting to, but you never know. Every surgery is different. You know, every time you go and have a surgery, it's a risk. You never know what's going to happen. I'm just thankful that everything went really good, but you know, besides the gallbladder removal. I'm having separate issues that we're trying to figure out right now. I hope you guys are doing well. If you are struggling with issues, health issues, stomach issues, mental issues, emotional, I don't care. If you're struggling with something, I send beautiful, peaceful, tranquil, and healthy vibes your way. I pray for your health and I hope that you get better soon. We will get better soon. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed me just kind of talking about my stomach issues and my gallbladder removal surgery. I do have a little bit of a clip that I will show you guys. Um, and I have some pictures that I will insert as well. Don't judge my chunk. We all got some. No, I'm just kidding, not all of us do, but most of us do. We all got a little bit of chunk. I'm gonna show you guys those pictures. I healed really well. The scars look fine. And for my gallbladder, that, thankfully is over but you know we still have issues so hopefully we can get those figured out soon because i'm tired of it <laughs> so yeah i hope you guys had a wonderful day thank you for joining me thank you for letting me speak about my experiences thank you for listening if you did if you've made it through this whole video i appreciate it so much i love you take care of yourself i send positive vibrations your way i send health and happiness, tranquility, peace, and strength your way. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it so much. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. Bye. What's up, guys? Um, I'm about to be released from surgery. Um, I had my gallbladder removed. Let me see if I can show y'all. A little bit. Still have this one. This one right there. Done. Those two. Don't mind the lard. Um. But yeah, I'm just here, about to get released. Can you feel me touching your finger? A little bit of pain, not too much. I was in more pain earlier, but I'm I right now. But yeah, just wanted a video because I haven't recorded, so.